Hi Pre-K, this is Miss Rico here. Today is Tuesday, August 18th, and we are going to be reading a book called Hands Are Not For Hitting. Sometimes we might get upset, right? We may get angry, but we should never hit. What can we do with our hands? Hmm. Well, let's read about all the great things that our hands can do. Let's get started. Okay. Hands come in all shapes and sizes and colors. There are lots of things your hands are meant to do. Hands are for saying hello or como estas, glad to see you. Why do you think there might be different hand sizes? Hmm. Big, little, oh, I see a paw print. Hands are for greeting and communicating. There are many friendly ways you can use your hands to communicate. You can shake hands. Can you turn to the person next to you and carefully shake their hand? You can shake. This is a nice way to say hello. You can shake brother or sister's hand or mom and dad's hand. You can wave to a friend. You can draw pictures or write words. You can tell a story with my hands. She's drawing. She's drawing something. You see that? There's something that hands are not for. Hands are not for hitting. Hitting isn't friendly. Hitting hurts. <gasps> Look at his face. How does he, how do you think he feels? He looks angry. His hands. How does it feel when someone hits? It hurts a person's body. It hurts a person's feelings too. He's saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I hit you, friend. He feels, maybe he feels a little better, right? Why do people hit? Sometimes they feel sad, jealous. I want that toy. Hmm. She looks angry. What does jealous mean, friends? Jealous means feeling envy of what another person has or can do. So she wants the toy. So she feels jealous. <laughs> Miss Rico got stuck. She feels scared. Here comes that kid who teases me. Angry. I don't like it when my sister takes my things. Hmm. Oh, we forgot to read Peter. We forgot to read this boys. Peter never plays with me, so he feels sad. Hmm. Let's turn the page. Some people want to be the boss of someone. Have you felt these ways before? Hmm. Maybe you want, wanted to hit someone, but hands are not for hitting. Why is it important not to boss people around or to make them do things? 
Hmm. I think. There are other ways to let your feelings out. Can you think of more ways to let your feelings out? We can use our words. Hmm, what are some ways? I see her playing music. I see this friend jumping. I see this friend writing. I see this friends are you these friends are using their words. And this friend, she looks angry. So she's using a a pillow and squeezing that pillow to make herself feel better. After a while, you'll feel better. When that happens, you and your friends can play again. Hands are for all kinds of playing. How do you use your hands to play? Hmm. Remember, hands are for playing and not for hitting. This friend is using his hands to blow bubbles. This friend is using her hands to build something with, I think it's mud. These friends are, are playing with um, hand puppets. They're making shadows with their hands. Hands are for learning, for counting, type, tying, painting, and asking questions. Hands are for making music, for snapping, clapping, or tapping out the beat. Can you clap a beat? Give it a try. Let's see. Can you clap a beat, friends? Hmm. Try it. Hands are for working together. <gasps> They're building a sandcastle. Hands are for playing, learning, doing, building. Hands are not for hitting. Hitting is never okay. So what can you do when you, when you or your friends don't get along? Hmm. What do you think these friends can do if they are upset with each other. What could they do? They can use their words, right? You can try to solve the problem together. You can talk about it. You can listen. You can build it back up again. You can try to understand how your friends feel. Your friends can try to understand how you feel. You can think of ways to make things right. Okay. If what if your friend yells, kicks, pushes, or hits? You don't have to fight back. You can walk away. You can find something else to do or someone else to play with or an older person you, who can help, like a teacher, a grandpa, a mom, a sister. You can tell your friend, hands are not for hitting. Right? You can use your words. Hands are for keeping safe. Think of all the ways your hands can keep you safe. Look, that 
go up. It's keeping her safe. Hands are for helping. There are many ways you can use your hands to be a helper. <gasps> the children are helping in the classroom. What are they doing? I see this friend feeding. I see this friend. All of these friends are cleaning up, right? They're being helpers. Oh, friends, we forgot to talk about one thing. What does it mean to be safe? <gasps> Let's think about it. What does it mean to be safe? Hands are for taking care of you. <gasps> they are for putting on pajamas, washing your face, combing your hair, brushing your teeth, and turning out the light at bedtime. What do you, what do you do to take care of you? How do you take care of yourself, friends? Hmm. Friends are for helping. Hands are for helping. Hands are for caring. Hands are for keeping you healthy and safe. Hands are not for hitting because hitting hurts, right? And because hitting is never okay. It is not okay for grown-ups to hit either. Hitting is not safe. Remember, what, is, what does it mean to be safe? It is not safe. Hands are for being kind and showing love. Go ahead, high five the person next to you. I'll give you a high five. are for saying <gasps> ciao adios bye see you later alligator goodbye so long take care hands are for saying goodbye The end. Well, friends, now that we're finished reading, let's make our own list of what our hands can do. Hmm? What things do you like to use your hands for? Think about it. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.